Hey y'all, Phantom DC here. Going to be reacting to Legacy Season 2, Episode 12. So let's get to reacting. Yeah, somebody fed on him and burned the bodies to cover it up. What happened 10 years ago? Might not be one of ours. Seems like it. Dad, why do we need weapons so bad? All you need to know is that we're in danger and we need to find a way out now. <sighs> We're in a new world now. Perhaps you're no longer the one in charge. <laughs> well, damn. Dad, this is about Uncle Kai, isn't it? That's why you're so worried. Maybe more. Hard for you, but you said he was desiccated. You don't know what he's capable of. And until I'm positive no one set him free, I'm not taking any chances. We have an entire planet to ourselves. So come with me. Experience it. Just for one day. I wouldn't do it. Ah, I'm missing Vampire Diaries. Where are you guys? A quick question. Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, that's my question. Jade? Tension's gonna last as long as it lasts. Yeah, I'm gonna manipulate young Josie. Hi. What you doing? You spying on me. This is Diego and Wendy. She's the witch who does fire. Cool. I bet you could take this barrier spell down with no problem. No, no way. Oh, that's too hard. Only advanced witches can do that. I mean, you think you could handle a big girl spell like that? Damn. I'm not supposed to. No, it's all right. We'll go to the party and then be back before anyone even realizes we're gone. What are you doing here? If it's okay with you, can we have this conversation after I eat? Because I am starving and you look delicious. Yo. <laughs> Uncle Guy! No! <laughs> Linda or or Joni? I can never tell you two apart. I'm Josie, named after my mom, who you killed. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Like, technically, I was trying to kill you and your sister. That vampire who tried to turn you into her own personal Capri Sun. She's the real monster. She and her cronies run this world. They revived me from desiccation just so they could have a little plaything. Really? They like clockwork. They hunt me down and kill me. But. Since I'm magically bound to this world, I can't actually die. So thanks, Rick, for dumping a bunch of students you couldn't control over here. Because the second they got bored, they woke me up! You should have figured that out. Oh, Dr. Saltzman, I'll be damned. I can control it now. Doesn't hurt anymore, cause you send me to a world where it's always the same day. And every night, full moon, ten years, thousands of turns. Yo, isn't it like Teen Wolf? Hey, look at us, we're beard bros. <laughs> what are you doing with him? could have killed you. He saved my life, actually. I don't care. He's a liar. You can't trust him. You hear me? Was he lying when he told me you sent a bunch of your old students here to punish them? No, because he has a plan, Josie. Sweet house. Hmm? Good. Because it's yours. Well, congrats. No. Oh. This reminds me of season one Vampire Diaries. If you think that I'm. Whoa. Well, I definitely didn't see this coming. Well, this is part of their plan. Stop you from doing what? Getting us all out of here. Even if that means partnering up with you. This could be a bad mistake. I assume you come carrying the Bennett blood? How is it possible 
that you came to a prison world without the one thing you need to escape it. Well, it's not exactly like this trip was planned. Okay, True. So what exactly are you bringing to this partnership? Because from where I stand, I'm the only one of us who's not useless. Could the sand clock be strong enough to power the Ascendant without a celestial event? Maybe. No, oh, that's a yes. I put a spell on it. You wouldn't even know that you were looking at it. You know, that, that actually happened to me with a teddy bear once. Hmm. Consider it a show of good faith. Unless that's a fake one. Thank you. This has already been the most amazing date of my life. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see how it ends. I wish to remain in this world. And I want you to stay with me. What? The game be playing. Is gonna work? Tell me more about this Malibor pit and those monsters you've been dealing with. I recently found someone who donated blood under the name Smithfield, which was her married name, maiden name, Bennett. <gasps> Congrats. Bennett blood. Ta da! Thank God you're here. Josie? <laughs> And he woke up. Yep, oh, the witch. Don't kill him, Aunt Dee. Let me guess. You want to burn him? Sure. But first, I want to have a chat. What if there was another way to get Bennett blood? Would you help me then? Yeah, nice. What you got planned? But I'm not going to believe anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. We sent the sand clock here. Yo. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. Your instincts were right. There is no trusting me. It's not that simple. You're gonna leave a family, friends. I have a family that I love, and you won't age. I wasn't banished to this world, so I will. I have a solution for that. Obviously, you could just make it into a vampire. Seeing your daughter be tortured. Ay, 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 Jade, you're not like them. You're a good student. You care about people. You're applying to med school because you want to save lives. Talk to me. Tell me what happened. Help me understand because this, this, isn't you. Yeah, well, maybe you don't know the real. She was holding this. It's yours. So just go ahead and punish us. You've already made up your mind. And not one of you showed any remorse. Or even admitted what you had done. Couldn't let you stay at the school. I wasn't gonna unleash you into the world. So you sent us here forever. Is that how you help your students? That's a good punishment for what they did, if they did it. You're so sure you're right. How about I tell you what actually happened to that? Alright, what happened? Ian has actually got three of the boarding school losers to show up. Seeing who could get the biggest weirdo to show up. Yeah, they took one look at us and they just they knew we were different. Let's go. Wow. Diego, don't. Should have ended there. I could have stopped it, but I froze. Maybe I didn't want to prove them right about us being different. Or Damn. No. Shame, guilt, panic. I couldn't bear feeling all of it anymore. So I decided not to. Damn, she turned off humanity switch. I finally become the killer that you thought I was. Sorry, I didn't write uh. Too busy protecting your daughters. Wouldn't be able to have kids. Mm -mm. I couldn't grow old with someone, and I don't even know if those are things that I want. There is a cure, though. I don't know yet. I can't make this decision until I'm sure. This reminds me of Twilight. 
It's time that you knew that what I'm offering is a choice. He spiked it. He put the freaking blood in a drink. I'm not gonna drink vampire blood. You already have. Uh... If you can survive being hunted for 24 hours, I will let your daughter live. You can believe her. And that's all you really care about, right? I am trying to help you, but if you can see that, then I must make the choice for you. Bro. I love you too much. Can you hear that? I love you. And I will not lose you again, Cassandra. You just call Lizzie Cassandra. Oh, kissing any better siphon his ass. Thank you. I think we should see other people. About damn time. Kai Parker screwed us. Of course, he's Kai. Yeah, that's thing that wasn't even Bennett blood. Ha! <laughs> Clever. But you still got Darth Vader's alarm clock, right? Maybe. Good, because you're gonna need every last bit of its power to pull this off. So, what a predicament, right? To save Daddy. To get yourself home, you have to become a monster. Like me. The only catch mm. is that I told you any of this. Because you won't remember me at all. Oh my god. I know where you are. Hey, thanks for all the stories about Malibor. Portal to another dimension sounds pretty good to me right about now. Yo. Good luck, get out. Yo. Damn. Clever man. Uh, Dark Josie. And she was in a car crash. She better not be dead. Oh, son of a bitch, I made it. Yo! Oh, this is a monster. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Oh my gosh. So, not gonna lie, this was an amazing episode from Legacies. And I can see it now. This could potentially be my favorite episode of the season. I can't say series because... In season one, there was like two episodes I really enjoyed, and that was like the Mommy Dearest episode, and that episode with the genie. Forgot the name of that one. But this one right here, another contender, like one of my favorite episodes of the series so far. And maybe my favorite episode of this season. Granted, we're like in episode 12, and who knows, maybe the next four episodes can have like some crazy stuff happening. I'm like, oh shoot, this might be my favorite episode of the season. But currently right now, episode 12, top contender to be my favorite episode because we got the return of Kai Parker in his fashion like every scene or so i'm just like okay is he telling the truth or is he not telling the truth and if he's telling the truth is it a part of his plan and even the a lot of the same way he was like josie stay away from this guy and every single see him it's like yo be careful just freaking be careful and even times josie got the you know jump on him because at one point i'm like wait a minute did she tell him about the freaking blood and is he gonna get it from her and just when he was about to use the freaking the ascendant to escape, turned out that even wasn't real freaking Bonnie, you know, bet at blood. Like, okay, good, Josie, good. And then next thing you know, we he see him pretty much in front of the Malivor pit. Like, God damn it, Josie, you told him too freaking much. Because the moment he heard about this freaking Malivor pit, he just began to plan even more. Like, ah, oh, he pretty much had a plan. A, B, C, D, all the way to freaking Z. And hell, he, in the moment he went in that pit, I'm like, okay, is he's going to come out, out on the prison world? And he pretty much did. So I freaking got the necromancer like, oh, what kind of monster are you? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're going to have freaking Kai manipulating the necromancer and freaking Chad. Oh my gosh, this is going to be one hell of a season though, but 
Not only that, though, just the whole mystery of the freaking kids in that prison world. And I can see why Alaric did it because he didn't have that full picture. But he should have dig much more because he even said it himself like during the 10 years ago flashback that I forgot the name of the vampire where she was a good student just to see how all this transpired. It's like there's something more and she's not saying anything. Let me dig more and maybe he could have just figured something out. But because he didn't have that, you know, piece of information of what truly happened at that point, he had no other choice, you know, to send them to that prison world. But damn. Just seeing like what happened and what transpired there, them being bullied and hey, because they're the way that they are and you know, one's a freaking, I want to say Reaper, but it's probably pronounced Repa. <laughs> I know someone in my conversation is probably going to like crucify me like, like, no, you meant you pronounced it wrong, damn it, because someone else did before. <laughs> I remember that freaking MG episode, someone was like, yo, you pronounced it wrong, fandom. And I uh, probably continue to mispronounce it. And then the other one was freaking the werewolf thing. And it's interesting. The dead series reminds me of freaking Teen Wolf. <laughs> you saying that, oh, because it's like the repeating day and because the full moon is like every day. He's experiencing it. And because uh, all those freaking, what is it, 10 years of constantly changing? And now to the point that he'll, he's pretty much mastered it. <laughs> he pretty much looks like a damn hybrid, even though he's kind of like not a hybrid. Like, but, oh my gosh, oh, this is just freaking crazy. Just seeing that, and who knows the potential of him, like, again, Branson, who knows what they're going to do with that character. But you can end up seeing, like, possibly later down the line, like, actually see, like, more werewolves exhibiting the same thing, maybe? I don't know. But for order for him to learn that, he had to pretty much experience that on something on a level that not other freaking werewolves presently can do. Who knows? They can do a whole bunch of stuff with that. Hopefully, if not, that was kind of a waste. But oh my gosh. We've been waiting for the episode where Josie will end up, you know, getting, <laughs> becoming Dark Josie. And it didn't like, she had like a freaking premonition, like making sure that she doesn't do this and how it happened. It was inevitable. He wasn't going to run from it. The damn prophecy is almost complete, I believe, if I'm right or wrong. But oh my gosh, yo. What's going to happen? What the hell is going to happen? But anywho, I'm Phantom D saying I am signing off.